Hello there. Welcome back to the world of phonetic sounds and symbols. This is your Sinosar yet again with another pairs of sounds. Dear students, first and foremost, my duty is to create some sort of confusion. Why confusion? Because most of the people do misunderstand these two symbols. There are certain differences in these sounds. As you all know that one is unvoiced and the other one is voiced. Yes, we have got two pairs of sounds. All right, you must have heard the words like thanks. Some people say it's like thanks or the other one thanks or some people say the word like authentic or authentic. What is right? Authentic or authentic? There are differences, right? We say things or things. What is right? Yes, you are confused, right? Yes, first and foremost, my duty is to create some sort of confusion because certain people pronounce both of the sounds in different ways. Now, let's see what is right. What is the right way to pronounce these symbols? Dear students, now look at these symbols. What is this symbol? Have you seen this symbol somewhere? Yes, some people do say it's the symbol of theta, right? Okay, what is this? So, how can we pronounce this symbol? What is the mouth formation? First and foremost, watch me closely. It's the mouth is a bit closed and the tongue is a bit out. So it's like we say thanks. We will not say it's like thanks. It is thanks. Thanks. Other. Other. Again. Authentic. Authentic. Again. Without. Without. Again. Strength. Strength. So, dear students, please repeat after me. The symbol is thanks, author, authentic, without, and strength. All right. If it is what is this? It's a pair of sound, right? They are pairs. Okay? All right. Now, it is smooth. So, what is this? Th. Unvoiced and th. Voiced. Smooth. Those, that, there, they. So, repeat after me. Th, smooth, those, th, that, th, there, th, 
day. Okay, dear students, now let's play a small game. Its name is Minimal Pair Activity. Now, you can see pairs of words here, right? Okay, all these pairs of words are related to the sound and we have got eight pairs of words here related to the sound mm. now let's play this small game face faith again please repeat after me face faith sick thick force forth miss myth seen seen sin thin sank thank sort third now let's pronounce the pairs a bit more faster okay we are going to pronounce these pairs a bit more faster face faith sick thick force forth miss myth seem theme sin thin sang thang thought thought so we have seen the pairs of words with the symbol th. now let's see th. the symbol is representing th. now then zen clothing closing bathe base breathe breeze laid lays teething teasing loath loss soothe seals now let us pronounce these pairs a bit more faster then zen clothing closing bathe base breathe breeze laid lays teething teasing loath loathe and soothe sues now once again closely understand the symbols and th. dear students you must have understood how to write it right just a zero and a closing here okay so that is what the symbol of th. okay and here the symbol of th is just like a zero and a kind of small cross on the top okay so that is the symbol of th now we have a small game here i have written the positions of 
the sounds. Okay? Here, in this sound, uh, I have written two words. Okay? Alright. Now let's see. Let's closely watch how these symbols are being used in these words. Alright? Okay. So, I've taken th in the mid position. Okay? Now, anything. Anything. It's not anything. It is anything. Okay? Now, we have got another word that is called everything. We can't pronounce it like everything. It is everything. Everything. Okay? Now, we have got another sound that is in the mid position. Brother. We say it's like brother. Th. Leather. Th. Leather. Weather. Weather. Th. Once again. Anything. Everything. Th. Brother. Leather. Weather. Now. In the end position. Both. Both. With. With. Okay. Now. Th. Bath. Bath. Clothes. Clothes. Okay, dear students. Now let's see. In the yen position. In the yen position. Both. Okay. Both. With. With. Now. In the yen position. So it's bathe. Bathe. Clothe. Th. Clothe. Bathe. Once again, let's see the words related to anything, everything, both, with. And let's see the words related to the sound th. Brother, leather, weather, babe, cloth. Okay, dear students, that is the end of today's class. And I have a small reminder. Okay? What do you have to do? You have to shoot a video related to the sounds and with five different examples of your own. So, dear students, please understand these sounds clearly. Watch the video time and again. Okay? It's a bit confusing symbols and they have got a bit confusing pronunciation. Once again, this is the mouth formation. Look at the mouth formation. The tongue is a bit out. Alright? And this is also the same. But it is voiced therefore it is th. and th. 
hope the class is clear to you. Right? Okay. Be safe and be happy.